Right now, like a somber morning here this morning, just outside of the Ilka Bar in Dizengoff Street in the heart of Tel Aviv. You can see behind me was uh, established an impromptu memorial, thousands of candles, flowers, Israeli flags, and also flags of the soccer teams that Eitam Magini and Tomer Morad supported, Apol Tel Aviv, as well as Apol Kfar Saba. People on their morning commute, whether it's to work or walking the dog, stop for a moment to pay their respects, whether it's to light a candle or just uh, collect their thoughts. There's even a, a box of taffy uh, being handed out, taffy, um, to hand out to people who stop here and try to uh, make this a little more positive morning after a very hard Thursday uh, over the weekend, as you described, three people killed, another 10 people injured on Thursday night in this deadly shooting. Six people are still in the hospital. Three are in moderate condition and three others lightly wounded. Later today will be the funerals of all three. And uh, throughout the morning, we've been seeing people here stop by and uh, just pay their respects following the deadly attack on Thursday. Right, certainly we see the people there behind you laying those uh, flowers, uh, an attack uh, really in the heart of Tel Aviv, an area where many people are walking by. They obviously see the memorial and pay their respects. Um, Ariel, we heard the Prime Minister Naftali Bennett talk about Israel taking a more aggressive stance here and uh, several raids taking place in the West Bank over the weekend at the homes of two terrorists, the one who conducted the attack where you are right now in Tel Aviv and also the one in Bnei Brak. What do you make of um, Th these recent actions and, and what will happen because we are also seeing that when the IDF soldiers go into the area of Jenin, they're met with fierce uh, gunfire of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad and other armed groups there. Uh, do you think that there will be more raids in Jenin in the coming days? Right. Prime Minister Bennett, yesterday when he visited the injured at the hospital, he said that Israel is transitioning from defense to offense. And indeed, we've seen yesterday and today large-scale raids, larger than, we've, than we usually see in Jenin and other towns in northern, uh, the, the northern part of the West Bank. This morning, Palestinians say at least 22 people have been arrested in this large-scale raid. And look, we have seen raids in the area of Jenin and the surrounding area in recent weeks and months, but definitely since the beginning of this terror wave, we've seen uh, exacerbation of those raids, more wide-scale. Um, and the, it does raise the question, if there was intel on many suspects who are arrested now, why did they have to wait for a terror wave to occur for them to be arrested? But definitely the city of Jenin has emerged in recent weeks and months and, and, and yes, in recent years as a terror hub in the West Bank. There's a massive vacuum of security by the Palestinian Authority security forces and in that vacuum is where Israeli forces are entering right now to try and uproot the terror that is growing there. All right, Arela Saran, Middle East correspondent reporting there from Dizengoff Center from the site of the deadly attack that occurred Thursday night. Thank you very much.